Now, if you remember, I recently started uh, modifying my Confluence, my Confluence uh, site, where I was basically doing some changes to the look and feel, and I played with the PDF layout, and uh, and the reason I was doing that was mainly uh, to refresh my memory, and uh, because the uh, cloud is always changing, I wanted to get familiar with the uh, things that are there on cloud. Today I wanted to do something similar that involves uh, roadmaps. Now in your uh, company managed projects, now we have to use the new name, <laughs> things are different now. So we have company managed projects and team managed projects. Uh, but if you have the roadmap, which is something that is great, you can always uh, now uh, create this roadmap of, uh, of things that you have planned or maybe you want to plan in your project so if you have this roadmap in your project let me just go to the go to the project and create a roadmap a simple roadmap uh, which we have done before you can also embed or you can have, you can also display this roadmap in your conference space or a page i should say page so let us first create a roadmap and what i'll do i'll uh, simply create uh, some epic so let us say this is one epic and uh, epic 2 it will of course just create uh, the the issues on the fly and uh, when you're doing it of course you may want to also plan it maybe you want your epic 1 to be finished by may june whatever and uh, uh, let us use slightly better name uh maybe not oh yeah why, why not why not let us do it quickly so launch Android app. So this is my first, uh, first epic. Let us move on to the second one, and uh, the the title, the summary is uh, launch iOS app. The third epic could be what else? Maybe launch uh, website. So we have three epics and uh, for each and every epic you can uh, definitely have uh, further issues or stories under it so let us create a couple of stories so maybe story one story two um, and uh, when you're looking at your uh, when you're looking at your roadmap this will of course give you a view of uh, uh, of what things you are planning and I think it is great uh, it is of course uh, so in Jira right now especially on cloud now we have next gen projects where you do have a roadmap and uh, recently or maybe a few months ago Atlassian also introduced those roadmaps those next gen ro roadmaps in your uh, classic projects but of course if you want to do more with the if you want to do a bit more with these uh, with these uh, activities that you have planned and that you want to view on the roadmap you need to of course use advanced roadmaps uh, which we are not really doing and uh, which we are not really going to cover today uh, which is some, something that i have covered in detail i have like a separate series or a playlist of videos just on advanced roadmaps uh, so you can of course refer to that uh, <coughs> that playlist if you want uh, what I wanted to show you is, let us say if you have this roadmap and maybe you want to display this roadmap and maybe you want to share this roadmap with other people in your organization, maybe you have some stakeholders and they are interested. And the good thing about this roadmap is that you can um, have you know these dependencies and it looks quite good, uh, especially when you are uh, planning the work and especially when you are uh, interested in... Uh, planning the work where you also have dependencies between uh, different epics so this is all uh, you can do with the roadmap which we have covered many times before uh, but what I wanted to show you is let us say if you have this project and you have the roadmap uh, for some reason if you want to display it uh, within your page you can do that so let us do that let us uh, let us uh, maybe uh, create a new page maybe I'll go to a different uh, space because this particular space is used as a knowledge base article uh, so I'll probably go to the other one which is called knowledge base which is uh, a bit misleading because uh, 
my knowledge base this one is not really linked to the portal but let us create a page let us not worry about uh, the details of uh, the name and what should be the correct name of the page so let, let, let us click on the page title and uh, i'll probably use something like roadmaps and uh, this is the the roadmap for the stakeholders now what i'll do i'll uh, insert one macro if you go to the plus sign on top uh, you can uh, you can insert a macro or you can use uh, this uh, slash uh, forward slash and if you find something like uh, i think i think it is called as jira roadmap if you click on it <clears throat> you can then uh, specify or uh, you can use the the url of your jira instance and of course you need to be on i mean you need to have access to that instance then you will select and you can select your uh, project which is company managed project and then you can select the board and now if you wait just for few seconds it will then display the same the exact same roadmap that you have and uh, it is very interesting because uh, you can uh, display this roadmap within confluence now if you click on the save button it will of course uh, create a insert a macro and of course you can preview it if you want but if you just publish the just publish the page now you have this uh, beautiful roadmap within confluence and uh, you don't need to of course go to jira i'm sure you can i mean if you click on this link it will take you to the jira it can take you to the jira issue if you really want to if you open it or uh, i mean if you open the link uh, and you can see here that you know the, the th you know things are updated for example cpm or not cpm cmp4 story is in progress let me just go to the go to the uh, roadmap and uh, maybe i'll update the story to maybe i'll change the status to maybe um, i don't know done let us let us see so if you do the change here and go back to the roadmap and uh, refresh let us see if we have the updates or not so this is really interesting i mean um, i was i mean i have done this for advanced roadmaps because uh, you can uh you can definitely do that with advanced roadmaps but i was not really sure well that it is also possible with a normal roadmap uh that you have so this is something that i thought i'll probably share with all of you in case you want to do it uh because this is definitely very useful and that is all i wanted to talk about today i hope you i hope you enjoy watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much